Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so uh, this is going to be uh, Sagittarius Sun, uh, Moon and Rising. Weekly tarot reading for May 13th to May 19, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and we can go straight away uh, into the spread. All right, so the first card which marks Sagittarius is the uh, topic of the week, that is to be uh, the Ten of Wands. Followed with the second card, which is uh, the uh, challenges that Sagittarius needs to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the Five of Swords. Then the third card, which is uh, <clears throat> representing the positive aspect of the week, or what helps you into Sagittarius, that is going to be the Empress. And the last one, uh, it is the guidance that Saro has for you. That is going to be the Ace of Swords. So once again, uh, Ten of Wands followed by the uh, Six of uh, the the Five of Swords. Excuse me. Afterwards, we do have the Empress, and the last one uh, that is to be the Ace of Swords. All right. So Sagittarius is by the first glance of these cards. Um, Simply what the week is going to represent for you is where, um, well, basically uh, you will come to that awareness, uh, realizing that a certain endeavor in your life is basically not worth pressing forward with, right? Either uh, an interaction with a person, certain project, friendship, you know, or simply buying a certain car, it just ain't worth pressing on forward. Uh, that is well described here with the Ten of Wands, which is uh, the general topic of the week, and afterwards the follow-up, which is the five, of, uh, the five of Swords. But the Ten of Wands, it does represent that you are, are likely to feel that this week is rather very heavy on you in regards to accomplishing uh, a certain responsibilities, duties in order to fulfill certain activities while in the same time you're not obliged to fulfill those activities it is no different than um <clears throat> the situation where you're please you're pleasing someone while in the same time you're not uh obliged to please that person you know and uh you are feeling heavily overburdened by that drive of yours to please that person you know and uh, simply well it, it's very common in this world you know uh when someone is pleasing someone else uh, while expecting in the same thing in return and that same thing isn't coming around you know and you are blaming the other person not kind of like uh, giving you the appropriate treatment or not responding in the same way while you have to blame yourself that you are responding that you are acting in a certain way all right so uh it is it is about that it is this this card rather points here uh, sagittarius is that uh, I will say it that way, <clears throat> that you will come to an understanding that uh, a certain activity in your life that you are pressing on, trying to press on forward right now, it's, it's futile to be pressed on and it's merely stressful and uh, <clears throat> worthless to try to proceed on forward with it. 
uh, the accompanied card here that is going to be the strength card and uh, the formation, it is a active, uh, active supporters that we do have here. So uh, what the strength rather points into this, into this card is that you will need to find something that kind of keeps up your passion lit, all right? Um, I'd say it's a very thin line that what we do have here in between what is futile to be pressed on forward and uh, what keeps on the passion in because passion is kept through challenges and yet you have to differentiate a, a futile efforts into challenging efforts from, excuse me, challenging efforts that can breed results eventually. So uh, <clears throat> at the very least, these cards here, guys, are asking you not to um, stress yourself too much about it. But if a thing, either relationship-wise or career-wise, isn't budging out for you, is not working out for you throughout this week, the very least, just set it aside and allow it, uh, and give it time to develop or to unfold, if I may express it that way. And uh, with these cards, only time is going to show is this endeavor of yours either productive or not. But at that point of time, this week, May 13th to May uh, 19th, you should kind of leave it aside aside and stop worrying about it at all. Um, <clears throat> then we go to the next card, which points to the challenges, and that is going to be the Five of Swords. So challenging-wise, uh, that card challenges you to realize that sometimes the... Um, how can I place it? The goal does not justify the efforts. It's basically the price for what you are, the price that you are to pay for something that you so much want is going to be actually more than you know. So challenging is going to be here throughout the week to realize where your capabilities lie. What, what is the line that you should not trespass in regards to this undertaking, either career-wise or either relationship-wise? Now, when I say relationship, um, straight away uh, in my mind comes uh, that example <clears throat> where let's say you are planning a vacation, all right, with your wife or with your husband, doesn't matter. And you so much wants to visit the Caribbean islands, all right, <clears throat> but in the same time right now, the, uh, the tickets or the bundle for Caribbeans it's very, very expensive, and yet you want to you want to visit it. So instead of purchasing those tickets or those bundles right now, it is either going to be beneficial for you to change the destination for something more acceptable, or wait a little bit to see if the pricing is not gonna plummet. All right, because right now with these first cards, it is not ideal to exert heavy efforts and to be tenacious about endeavors. The accompanied card here that is going to be the uh, King of Cups. And so the formation that we do have, it is active neutrals. And the King exactly points that way, uh, that thing that you need to approach the situation in a very, in a very balanced fashion. Okay, balanced fashion in a sense that you should not adopt any drastic standpoints and being unyielding in regards to a, a certain desire or a wish of yours, either about a certain person, endeavor, or a, a project that is. Additionally to that, the king points that there are a better offers, there are better opportunities which are going to come with the time. So maybe right now you are robbing yourself from those opportunities, trying so desperately to press into one direction that you right now think it is the only thing you want. But further down the road, you may realize that actually you can you could have go for <clears throat> for more. You could have go for better, only if you have that awareness and being able to draw a, a line. Uh, which leads us to the next card here, um, Sagittarius, and this is what is going to help you throughout the week. What is the bene the the beneficent here in the week, and that is going to be the Empress. So uh, for what it seems, you will, not have, you will not have that problem to detach yourself from the situation and try to be much more mature than usual in regards to taking on these decisions. Should you press at all cost or should you uh, try to, you know, to leave it for a later date or abandoning this endeavor at all or for good? That is because you will start realizing that um, 
whatever you are sown throughout the week, either good or bad, is going to be reaped further into the future. And therefore, uh, this week, the positivity this week is that you are going to stray for making yourself much more comfortable than usual. And that will have a, a big finger into this, that you will start realizing that something isn't just worth pressing on, all right? Something in your life isn't just worth pressing on. Um, <clears throat> like, I just explained with the vacation that you may uh, want to do with your husband or wife, or it could regard as well something in your career. The accompanied card, that is to be the Five of Cups. And uh, the formation that we do have here, that is to be a passive friend. So as a passive friend, the Five of Cups does express this, um, well, it's it's passing on. It's not like giving up on something, but it is more like passing on an opportunity, so-called opportunity, <clears throat> knowing that a better one is going to come around. Even more than that, the Five of Cups is a passive friend to the Empress. It does point that should you start looking around yourself, you can easily replace the poignant experience from not being capable to press on into something, you know, into your life with a, a much more positive endeavor or an enterprise that doesn't have to reside in the, in the same field, all right? So let's say <clears throat> that you have to give up on this uh, vacation into your, into your career or into your relationship, excuse me, or into your marriage. And in the same time, something very good is happening into your career. So you are uh, <clears throat> distributing, you know, your emotional attachment from your relationship into your career, completely forgetting about this uh, poignant experience that it is happening in your relationship. That is just, for example, it could happen as well, a vice versa, all right? But the thing here with these couple of cards is that you are to find a, uh, <clears throat> or you are to start clinging into something which will completely make you forget about a poignant experiences and being feeling despondent. The final card that we do have for you, Sagittarius, is that is to be the Guidance here, and we do have the Ace of Swords. So Guidance-wise, the Ace of Swords asks you to think very wisely, not to allow your uh, emotion to get the better of you, all right? Because, yeah, emotionally, you may feel very uh, downside in regards to that man, I cannot go into uh, into the Caribbean, but in the same time thinking about how much money you have saved from not giving yourself to the temptation is going to severely, you know, turn the tides toward more the practical side of the matter where, where at the end of the day, your logic is going to take an edge upon your emotions and you will stop feeling bad that you couldn't accomplish something that it would have cost so, so much uh, more than you have anticipated. Additionally to that, the ACE uh, here asks you to be very uh, vigilant and objective, regardless of what it is. I mean, in uh, the entirety of your environment and always speaks the truth. For one or another reason, this week is going to regard uh, to ask from you to always speak the truth. The accompanied card here that we do have for you, Sagittarius, is that is to be the Knights of Cups. So the formation is a active uh, active neutrals, <clears throat> and it seems that you can that you can rely on a little bit of a luck. All right, uh, <clears throat> so the luck is going to be on your side. And uh, it seems as well that should you be more logically orientated and meticulous with your, uh, with your plan, that is creating your plan, you are going to find much more easier way to tackle with your difficulties or to tackle, you know, of a, a sustainability, the, the sustainability of your marriage or uh, your relationship, the sustainability of your career. Basically, you're going to make the things much easier than they are right now should you start thinking logically about them instead of like, like I said, giving yourself away to the emotion to drown you down because the emotions could be rather quite um, wild here. And uh, should one give give himself away to the to the emotions and to the to the temptations, uh, is likely that one is going to find himself lost in the matters. So that being said, Sagittarius, this was your weekly tarot reading, May 13th to uh, May 19, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other uh, around. Until then, bye.